everyone, it's Sarah Grace again, and today I just wanted to share my transformation story with you guys. So I know a while back I shared a more personal story of like my past, but this is more of the not so touchy feely stuff of just how I went from anorexia to kind of in a healthy mindset but still restricting and like binging almost on healthy foods and then to a really healthy place and healthy weight and just living the intuitive eating lifestyle. So let's just get started. Let's backtrack all the way to when I was a little girl and I was free, I ate whatever I wanted. I actually was the opposite of a healthy eater. I only ate Chinese food, I would eat macaroni and cheese, you would never get a vegetable in me. But then fast forward to freshman year of high school and that's where everything begins because I began running cross country and everything was fine. I was still eating a lot, still keeping the weight on me. But then spring came around when I stopped running and in my mind I just had this mentality of I'm not running blank miles a week anymore, I'm not running at all anymore or whatever and so I don't need to eat that much. And thankfully at first I still had no self control so I still ate what I wanted and I still ate enough. But then I had to get on antibiotics for acne and stuff and it just completely took my hunger away. Like I wasn't hungry at all. And I mean, that would have been fine if it would have just lasted like the month I was on antibiotics. But after I was off antibiotics, I was like, oh, I lost weight, not eating this much, I like this. And all of a sudden I was able to have that too strong of self-control to restrict myself and not eat that much. And that's where all the problems started. Now, when I first started beginning losing weight because of the antibiotics and all of a sudden this new diet mentality that I like started loving, I started, I just kept blaming it on the antibiotics. I was like, oh no, I'm fine guys. Like this, these antibiotics, they just took my appetite away. Like I'll be fine, whatever. But it soon became evident that I had more of an issue than I kept saying I did. Then it only escalated when family things were going on and other things in my life were going on and so I felt like I had no control in my life and because of that I resorted back to controlling the one thing I thought I could and that was food and so I just began restricting and restricting more and more and the sad thing is is that I thought I was gaining control but I was actually losing any control I had in my life because Restricting your food is not gaining control, that's losing your freedom. Now I never track like fat, protein, like uh, carbs strictly, but I was a big, just total calorie person. So I didn't care what I was eating, whether it was fat, protein, carbs, I just wanted the least calories as I could. So I would stuff myself full with broccoli and random things that had zero calories in them basically. Now, as this weight loss continued, I had to stop running and I was pulled out of running for my team in high school and everything because of getting too of a weight of like 90 pounds. And it was just terrible because running was something that was like freeing to me with all this life stuff going on, but I couldn't even do that anymore. And so I finally began seeing counselors, I saw multiple dietitians, and just nothing was really clicking. But I finally had to admit that I did have an issue and I was finally real with myself and was trying to seek out help even though nothing was really working for me. All these counselors were just making me like fed up with it. I was just like, you don't understand. No dietitians. They were just doing the whole food pyramid thing of like, oh, you need this and this. And I hated that mentality. So fast forward a year later, I was able to gain back healthy weight simply because I wanted to run again. It wasn't necessarily a healthy mentality. It was, I want to run again. So I'm going to do whatever I need to do that. And it took just tons of drinking like Enchers a day and that was like 270 calories each or something like that. It was like Encher pluses. And I would drink like three of those a day. I so got really sick of them, but it helped me put on the weight that I needed to. Sadly though, I didn't have the healthy mentality. So senior year came around and I was back running, strong. Um, did have a healthy mindset to some extent and I was just relying on God to help me have that healthy mindset every single day I was having to ask him to help me because I was still wanting to control my food but I was able to continue running was strong 
and ended up winning the state championship in running that year. And so I was able to sign with the University of Florida's cross country and track and field team. But that's where the issues begin again because I went up to college freshman year and again fell out of control had no free time in my life. My life was strictly running. I was running 80 miles a week. I was constantly hurt back and forth and just not happy, like not able to do things I loved. And I started losing weight again. Looking back, I'm just in awe. Like I would run like a 10 mile workout in the morning and then eat a special K protein bar, which is 180 calories for breakfast. And like, that's it. And I used to think like I was fine, like I was eating good. And so it's just crazy to me like how bad my mindset was at the time because I thought I was feeding my body and clearly I was not. I just probably ran like a thousand miles of calories and was eating a hundred calorie bar. So that happened, lost weight again. I was still running on and off, but it was constantly hurt. And then had to see dietitians up there and actually seeing it, the sports dietitian that was paired with our cross country and track team as a student athlete was one of the reasons that I switched my major sophomore year to become a dietitian because she was awesome and I was like, wow, I wanna do this, I wanna help people, I wanna help athletes like this, I love working with athletes, I, I would love to do this myself. And so I worked with this dietitian, gained weight and everything, but summer came around after freshman year, wasn't happy still, just wasn't liking the whole running lifestyle anymore. So I made the hard decision, like a video a little back that I posted of like walking away, respecting yourself enough. Um, I walked away from the team and walked away from being a student athlete because it just wasn't making me happy anymore. It wasn't growing me in any way and it wasn't like serving any good purpose in my life. So. I quit running, I made the decision to walk away from being a student athlete, from being a runner. And my sophomore year of college, I ended up doing the whole sorority thing, rushing, seeing what it was all about because I was so against Greek life, I thought it was all fake. And I was like, well, I'll give it a shot. And I found 80 Pi, I found something that was real, girls that were real, girls that were genuine. And not only was I happy, but I had friends that weren't runners, finally and lived a, like a normal lifestyle of eating a ton of junk food like typical college people do. And you'd think that that would help me being around people like that, but it almost made me nervous being around that because I was like, ah, I don't wanna eat this unhealthy. And so then I like kept restricting even though I was happy again in life, I just continued to restrict. I wouldn't ever go out to eat with them. I would like meet them after they went out to eat and say like, oh, I just already ate. Um, was still at a low weight, was probably at like 100 pounds. And then if you saw like the perfect you video I created, that was when I also was contacted by a modeling agency and they were telling me that I was gonna get like 80 grand if, if I could get to the size they wanted and to like the fitness level they wanted. And I got down, to, I was down to 100 pounds, was trying to put on muscle at the same time somehow, which you can't do when you're like restricting yourself so much and like, at such a low weight and I finally realized like this is not healthy like I can't do this anymore I need help I need I need a real person in my life to just tell me how it is to help me somehow because any counselor any dietitian I've had in my life so far like hadn't been able to get me there yet and so I began seeking out help in Gainesville myself and that is when I met a dietitian her name was Tracy and I actually just made a video with her on intuitive eating because I know you guys are interested in that. So I will be posting that soon so look forward to that all about intuitive eating. If you have questions it might be answered in that video. But I was introduced to this whole entire lifestyle called intuitive eating through Tracy and it was just mind blowing to me. Like listening to my body, like I hadn't done that in years. Like I'm talking it was now six years going on of restricting and trying to get to a healthy mindset, but still like restricting so much and then binging on healthy foods. I was still restricting yet binging at the same time. It was a really weird thing. I just kept being so unhappy with myself. It was this huge, terrible cycle. And Tracy changed that all for me. She taught me about intuitive eating. She taught me about listening to my body and it was just, a new world for me. She began 
teaching me about hunger cues and about how I had kind of screwed mine up because my body wasn't going to rightfully tell me when I was hungry or when I was full because I just had been restricting so much and starving it so much. And so over time and over keeping food journals with her and meeting with her once a week and going through and ranking myself on scales from one to 10 how hungry I was before I ate and after I ate and feelings I had after I ate. And no, it wasn't overnight or anything, like, but after weeks and a couple months of working with her through these journals and everything, I was finally able to listen to my body again and eat when I was hungry, stop when I was full, stop having these false thoughts in my mind about, oh, whole wheat is good, white bread is bad. All these false beliefs I've had in my mind for so long, I started questioning because of her and was finally seeking truth in my life. And it was just so refreshing and so freeing. And I finally was able to get away those fear foods that I had had in my life for so long. Like I was able to just eat cake if I wanted it. I was able to have that ice cream that I wanted. Um, I used to have ice cream literally every single night and I hadn't had it forever because it was just like, oh, that's bad for me, I can't have it. And then like I would sit there and sometimes binge on it and eat so much of it because I was restricting myself from it. But I finally learned that, you know, if you just listen to your body and you remind yourself that, oh, I'm not gonna restrict myself from this, so if I want to, I can have another little bowl of it tomorrow night, then you don't like stuff yourself and binge on it. And so there's so many great things that came from this whole thing called intuitive eating for me. And it was just mind blowing to me that I hadn't heard of this before. And like I said earlier, I switched my major to being a dietitian, and I was like, this is it. This is what I'm going to preach to people. And so here I am on my way to becoming a registered dietitian. I have a two year program where I'm getting my master's in exercise phys and also getting my dietetic internship done, which I need to become a registered dietitian. And after that guys, like this is what my job and career is gonna be. Like I am going to teach people and help people just like this dietitian did for me because I can't express the freedom I finally have and I want other people to experience that too. I'm not gonna be that typical dietitian where, oh, here's a food pyramid, have five servings of greens, four servings of fruit. No, I'm not about that and that's not how I'm going to preach. That's not how I'm gonna teach the people that come to me for help. And so maybe you guys will be one of those people, I don't know. But um, <laughs> if you want to learn more about intuitive eating and everything, number one, I just made a video with the dietitian that helped me because I was like, who else better to make a video with on this than the person that taught me all about it? And so I'm gonna be posting that soon, so stay tuned to that. And then also, I have a blog post that I will link down below on intuitive eating, all about it, and I included everything you need to kind of get started yourself on intuitive eating. Like the food journal I talked about, how I kept, I kind of recreated my own version of it, and there's a PDF format of it in my blog post, so if you guys wanna print that out and start beginning it yourself, this is a great way to do it. I have all the tools that you can do it yourself, but like I said, I needed someone in my life to keep me accountable, to help me through it, to help challenge me, help kind of set these, like, to kind of help take these false beliefs out of my mind and just kind of keep me accountable each and every week. And so if you need that, I'm offering my help to a limited amount of people that first contact me about intuitive eating, to be that one-on-one -on -one person in their life to help you in intuitive eating and help you on that journey. So if you want that, contact me at freshmanhealthy at gmail.com and I will be able to help you as well. Um, anyways guys, back to just this whole transformation process. I just can't express how freeing it is and I just wanna let you guys know out there that there is freedom. Like no matter how much you are struggling, no matter how many years it's been, I know that you can find freedom because I did it finally after six, seven, eight years. Like I finally found freedom and it is so, so refreshing and it makes you so much more happy in life to finally have that freedom again that you probably once had. Like think about when you were a little kid and you never thought twice about the food you ate. Like you can have that again and you can start listening to your body again. And so I don't know, like just, 
wanting to encourage everyone out there that it is possible to find freedom. You are beautiful, you are wonderful. Never get caught in the comparison game, but also it's not bad to want to become a better version of yourself. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope I can help you guys in somehow. I hope this video helped in somehow. And if you want more help, of course, go to the links below in the description. And then also you can email me if you want more intuitive eating one-on-one -on -one coaching. So until next time, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and follow me on all my social media outlets. They're all linked in the description below, whether it be on Instagram, Snapchat, Facebook, Twitter, Periscope, all of those things I daily and weekly share my own healthy journey and tips on how to live healthier and more fit and just happier in general. So follow me on all those outlets. Click the thumbs up and subscribe if you aren't already, guys. I hope you enjoy this, and until next time, I love you all. Bye.